Working on a transom and you need really good marine plywood. Here comes a Robert, Robert's plywood delivering a uh, three quarter inch. I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> <laughs> you maniac. Three quarter inch marine ply, Marante marine plywood. Absolutely the best stuff around. And that's Scott Roberts himself, the main man. How are you, Scott? Yeah. So anyway, we're looking good. We cut out the first section to do the transom. It's an inch and a half thick. So we did one cut. Now we're going to need a second cut. We're going to sandwich them together. We're going to laminate the two pieces together to create the new filler for the transom. Anyway, uh, we cut the first piece. Actually, we had to clean out the whole transom and uh, clear all the glass, get all the old wood out. And we worked on, we then used cardboard to trace this opening. And then we transferred, we used a template of cardboard onto the sheet of plywood and we cut it out. And then after that was done, had to be touched up a little bit with a grinder, a little bit off here, a little there, because it's not a perfect smooth interior. But now we got it to fit very well. We're gonna take the second sheet. We're gonna use this piece to scribe on the fresh piece of plywood. And we're gonna bring that in and we're gonna double it up. We're gonna drop another three quarter inch piece behind here. Everything will be epoxy, resin, and fiberglass mat together and a heavy biaxial and all of that. It all has to be glassed up for strength, but it'll be better than the original as you can see. We already did the additional uh, splash guard. It's going to be an integral part of the transom itself. When these boats were first built, they were made for either twins or a single. So they had a very wide transom cut and it's low and a lot of backsplash comes into the boat. So now when we redo the transom, it's going to have an additional coverage. We measured this so that the engine that's on the boat will fit. Even in a tilted position, it won't hit, and yet we're gonna have, gonna prevent a lot of water from coming back into the low transom area. So that's transom work. Then in addition, we had a very sore floor back here. It all had gotten cracks in it, and water got in over the years, and it just rotted the plywood that was inside. It was soft. So we had to cut the outer skin away, and uh, create, uh, remove all the soft wood and make a template again out of cardboard, trace it onto half inch, this is half inch marine ply. Fit it in, scribe it, drop it into the hole. So we have some more work to do here. It's actually cut out underneath. We're gonna have to place half inch plywood underneath, scribe it, cut it on a bandsaw, put those pieces in, drop this in, glass everything down, brace it underneath to get a little crown in the deck, and uh, you know, that should be good to go. So. Quite a bit of glass work has to be done. We have guys who know how to do it and it should be beautiful when it's finished up.